Here, let us see how to factorize the cubic polynomial by splitting the middle term. Let us say for example, consider p of x equals x cube plus ax squared plus bx plus c. Now this is the cubic expression that we need to factorize by splitting the middle term. But before we go to the concept of splitting the middle term, we need to do another thing. We first need to find a factor of this term. So all we have to do is take the constant number here without the variable x. The constant number here c, it can be anything in an actual problem. It can be 5, 4, 3, whatever that is. So take this constant that is c and find the factors of c. Now by trial and error method, substitute the factors of c in this expression p of x and see what gives you 0. That is say for example the factors of c are plus or minus d and plus or minus z e, just for example. So what you have to do is plug in d plus d minus d plus e minus c whatever it is every possible option in this expression in the place of x. So say for example we substitute d in the place of x. So that is p of d. Now if this gives us 0 then we have x minus d as the factor of x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c. Now if you didn't understand how I got x minus d please go back to the factor theorem. This concept will be clear to you in the factor theorem. So now x minus d becomes a factor once p of d gives you 0, x minus d becomes a factor of x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c. Now since x minus d is a factor of this expression, we need to go ahead and divide x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c by x minus d. Now when we divide this, we are going to get a quadratic equation. That will be of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Now the splitting the middle term concept comes into play. So this is a quadratic equation which can be factorized by splitting the middle term. So here we can split the middle term and further find two factors. So That is how we factorize the cubic polynomial by splitting the middle term. So in a nutshell, what you have to do is first find the factors of the constant term present in the cubic expression. See which one of those factors satisfies the expression and based on that find the factor. Now once you find the factor of this expression, divide this by the factor and then you will get a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation can be split by or can be factorized by splitting the middle term during which we get all the three factors. So these will be 1 and 2, this will be the third factor.